Welcome to Tuesday, March the 9th. I'm Pastor Jim Krieger from Holy Cross Lutheran Church and School in Saginaw, Michigan, celebrating God's Holy Word with you today in our daily devotion. From Proverbs chapter 4, verses 18 and 19. But the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn, which shines brighter and brighter until full day. The way of the wicked is like deep darkness. They do not know over what they stumble. So far in these opening chapters of Proverbs, we have heard King Solomon urging his sons to listen to his words, for he has godly wisdom to impart to them that will serve to guide and keep them on the path of godliness and righteousness. Like many of us whose parents imparted the combination of their own knowledge and experiences which combined together to form wisdom. King Solomon most certainly recalled some of his earlier years when he also received instruction, guidance, and wisdom from his own father, King David. Wisdom is the most beneficial gift we can provide for living on this side of heaven. Wisdom combined with the knowledge of God's saving grace and mercy in Jesus Christ alone. In these verses, there is a clear contrast between the righteous who seek to follow the wisdom of God and the wicked who listen and follow the ways of folly in this sinful world. The starting point is so very important. To seek the wisdom of God is to seek after all that is holy and pleasing and brings glory to Him. To seek the wisdom of the world, which is utter folly, is to seek after all that is of the sinful world and seeks only to please ourselves. By no worldly measure is a righteous person more or less sinful by nature than the wicked. But the righteous are open and guided by the light of the knowledge of God, and the righteous are more inclined to listen and obey where the wicked appear content to live in the darkness of ignorance and ungodliness and stumble through life, chasing after what does not provide lasting comfort and strength, that which does not lead to the knowledge of God's grace and mercy and forgiveness and salvation. But those who seek after godly wisdom seek to follow and know Jesus Christ above all, the sinless Son of God, who teaches us in John 8, verse 12, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. In Ephesians 5, some of the verses in, some of the words of verses 8 through 17 teach us, walk as children of the light. For the fruit of light is found in all that is good and right and true and try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of time, because the days are certainly evil. Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. As Jesus teaches us in Matthew 6, verse 33, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So let us all seek after godly wisdom and live in the light of the knowledge of the glory of God until Jesus returns and takes all the righteous home to the eternal light, the never-ending day, of heaven. Let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you for calling us out of the darkness of sin and worldly wisdom, which is only folly, and calling us into the light of your saving words and life in Jesus. We know that we have not yet reached the full light of day in all of its strength and glory and majesty and perfection, but with Jesus as our guide and shepherd, 
we seek to learn and know the greater wisdom which comes down from above. Father, we do not want to stumble through each day of life seeking after our own goals. Help us through your words of wisdom to avoid every dark path and the evil that can only tempt us each and every day. Guide us to stay and live on the righteous path, surrounded by your light that never dims. Use us to guide others out of darkness and into the saving light of the knowledge of Jesus. In his name, we now pray the prayer he taught us to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor, and in the holy saving name of Jesus, bring you peace this day. Amen.